Hey everybody, this is Don over Johnny G's Cars. Today I'm going to show this 2007 Mazda MPV that just came in. It's got uh, just under 92,000 kilometers on it, which is about 57,000 miles. Let's take a look around. We'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. I'm going to answer a lot of your questions. So things like the uh, JCI, road tax, warranty, I cover all that and more. So please bear with me until the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, go in and contact me or stop on by. This Mazda MPV is an eight passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $175 right now with the current exchange rate, about 170, sorry. With the current exchange rate, road tax is due every April, May timeframe. So we'll take care of it for you this year and then it's up to you on the next. You do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, or you can take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down to reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. Most people do 500 to 1,000, some people do more. Um, before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it can give you that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a, uh, a good windshield visor. Now, this is the first time I had uh, this interior. This is actually really a beautiful interior. So, I can't wait to see this thing all cleaned up. All right, so it does have the uh, the card key on here. So as long as it's on your person, you just turn this over as if the key was in there. There is a key inside here. That's why we keep the tape on there. So if the uh, key fob battery dies, you can take this off and insert the key like a regular ignition. Okay. All right. So let's put this in here. 91,987 on the odometer. I'll show you a couple of warning lights. That one right there, obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do get tickets on and off base. And that one right there is your emergency brake. It's not a low pressure tire gauge. I know it looks similar, but it's a kick type. So when you kick it, this gauge it goes, goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Oops, hold on a second. Okay, other than that, just a very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. Off to the left here, you do have a little display here. You got outside temperature, um, the air conditioning settings, and time. Then you got your radio here. Uh, this one does have a back camera. It's really hard to see. And then uh, the air conditioning controls, a little pocket here made for, or a little uh, shelf here made for some coins or whatnot. Your shifter, ash, uh, it doesn't look like an ashtray, just a compartment there. Uh, you have your uh, lighter down there or power outlet. Above the glove box, uh, you do have your uh, little bit of storage, extra storage, I should say. Uh, this little guy right there is your ETC reader. It's an electronic toll collector. It works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway here. And then you have your glove box. Then in each door panel, you do have a little bit of storage and cup holder. And then that is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. Then let me make sure this is all the way down. It is all the way back. It is. Um, I am 511s. Everybody loves knowing. Um, yeah, I, I drive just as is. I wouldn't need to slide this up any. I could if uh, maybe a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. Uh, this one does have a sunglass compartment. Okay. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. And uh, before I go any further, uh, we do always have uh, some uh, food trucks out here. Uh, the one all the way down here is uh, the jerk chicken, and then this is the Mexican, uh, okay? Mexican food, <laughs> jerk chicken, okay? Uh, but that's my eye level right there. Let's go on back. All right. Now, normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing it's a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Keep that in mind, non-accident vehicle from mainland. But because it just came in, I, I keep those inside of them a bit detailed. Once it's been detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side, okay? But if you come on out before it's been detailed, I can run inside and get that for you. So you can see for yourself that it's a non-accident vehicle. Uh, before we go to the back, a couple other things. You do have your mirror controls next to your window controls on the door panel. This does have dual power sliding doors. Little coin slot here. And please don't forget down here, you do have two levers. The one on the right is your gas cover release. The one on the left is your hood release to uh, get to the engine. So I'm gonna keep this running for uh, just one of these, for a reason, hold on a second. All right. So to open the door, you just pull it once and let it go. It also has a button here. If you're on the inside, you can just push that until the uh, beeps and then you can let it go. At least this is, interior is really, really nice, okay? All right, so I left the um, I left the um, vehicle running because this does have an entertainment package as well. All right, so good for the kids. 
Now with the seat uh, in a central position, eh, maybe just right there, see uh, the center seat's in a central position. I'm a good three inches away from the back of the seat to my knees. Uh, there is a uh, grocery bag hook. You'd probably put about, about five or six pounds on there. And then a little bit of uh, pocket storage on each uh, back of the seat. Uh, just be careful what you put in here. It doesn't have a lot of give, so you don't want to uh, rip it. And then it does have a, um, um, a cup holder on each door panel. Now these seats, you can leave them separated or you can actually slide them together and make it a three passenger. And um, I, as always, I forgot, these do, this does have the um, armrest and it also has dual armrest for your rear passengers here, okay? And then you do have controls for the air conditioning as far as the, uh, the temperature and the fan um, uh, speed. So push that, wait for the button or wait for the beat to uh, go and then you're good. Let's go on back here. We'll show you the back space. And it has this uh, plastic protection on there. So if you put the seats down, you have to haul stuff. You're not going to worry about messing up the back of the seats. All right. But it does have a pocket underneath here, a deep pocket for storage. It does not have a, um, what's your, who's it? A spare tire. It has a tire repair kit. As always, I'm not a big fan of those because if you get a blowout, that's not going to help you. Okay. And then that's your space back here. So still decent space. Uh, with these in a central location, uh, these uh, center seats in a central location, and it does have a cup holder and a little compartment here for storage and two cup holders on the right side. Okay, let me see if I can put this one down. And, just... and to put this down, all you have to do is, and it stays, okay? So just a ton of space there, okay? Let's go to the front, then we're gonna, uh-oh, what'd I do? I did something. All right, there's your engine. This is a 2.3 liter uh, four-cylinder engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. I did something. I'm going to have to put my glasses on real quick, see what I did, because that is not looking right. What I do? All right, I don't know what I did. What I do? All right, is that going to come? All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. Something messed up on my phone. What the heck is going on? Oh, there you go. All right, so I don't know what I did or what I'm doing here. Come on. All right, now I can finish it. All right, really sorry about that. I don't know what I did, but, um, but there you have it, 2007 uh, Mazda MPV. I'm gonna talk a little faster to get this, uh, through this a little quicker. So 92,000 kilometers on it, which you get about 57,000 miles. Uh, military price goes out of 5,000 flat. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,800. That 40 is going to include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, the remain, or I'm sorry, the uh, new 2022 road tax, and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, where they go on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you. And we can assist you with that here. As always, we encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, and to definitely stop by Johnny G's Cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about. We are definitely making a difference because you are different. Stop by Bible, show you why. If you have any questions while you're out and about, think you're not getting the right information, go in and contact us. The information is free. We're always willing to assist you, regardless if you're buying a car from us or not. So don't forget, two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of zero percent finance for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.